Hey there, and welcome back to Utility Sports. In today's video, we are going to cover Jock Peterson's trade to the Atlanta Braves. Obviously, this is based off of the injury of Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, it was a really, really devastating injury, but they go ahead and make a move. They want to stay competitive, right? They are right in the thick of things in the NL East, which is a very, very tight and competitive division. Obviously, they decided that they had, had to made, make a move. Uh, for this team, they are not willing to roll over and die because there is still a lot of season yet to be played. I think they are going to make a couple of other moves, um, obviously, to get better and try to win this division. Uh, so there's a lot really going on here. So basically, here's the here's the deal. Here's the premise of the deal. Jock Peterson was sent to the Cubs or sent to the Braves from the Cubs in exchange for Bryce Ball and Bryce Ball, uh, first base prospect for the for the Atlanta Braves. Let's first go over and take a look at what he's been doing so far this season in the minor leagues. Um, so right now in high, uh, high A ball, you're looking here at uh, 2021 season. He had 207. He has six homers, uh, OBP of 354, uh, slugging percentage of 396. But let's take a look historically, you know, back when he was in, in rookie ball and stuff. He ultimately had a pretty productive season here, hitting 329, 17 homers on two different teams. So really looking at that, you have to feel pretty good if you're the Chicago Cubs. You're getting a guy that's 6'6", has uh, quite a bit of power potential in Bryce Ball. Obviously, you are losing Jock Peterson in this deal, but I think the deal makes sense ultimately to do it. So the Chicago Cubs are doing a little bit of, of selling at this deadline. Who knows really what their direction is. I think it also could hinge on the next two weeks if they are really able to gain some ground or not. But they felt like moving Jock Peterson was the correct move. Uh, taking a look at Jock Peterson this season, uh, we see here in the 2021 year, he's got 11 homers. He's hitting 230. So ultimately, you know, there, there's not, not a lot to love about what he's done so far this year. You know, lower average. Um, he does have 11 homers, which is which is okay. But what the Braves are really banking on here is that 2019 season when he had a, a, a really, really big resurgence, 36 homers. He had 249, had 74 RBIs. So overall, I think this is a pretty good deal for both sides. Just considering the Chicago Cubs are getting a guy in Bryce Ball that has some potential at first base. He's got the big frame. Um, I, he definitely has the ability to hit to all fields, but – uh, Jock Peterson is going to the Braves just to kind of, you know, be that bridge guy, be the guy until Acuna is ready to go, which obviously is not going to be the, for the rest of the season. He'll be out for a long time. He can finish out the season for the Braves. They decided this is kind of our window where we really, really need to strive to, to make the postseason and make a deep run. If you remember last year, they were absolutely phenomenal. They had a great, great team. Uh, not exactly sure why they are kind of struggling so much this year. Uh, I, I think that there's a, there's a number of reasons, but for the Atlanta Braves, they have to make sure that they are trying to compete and, you know, try to win a world series every, every year that they can during this window, because some of these windows for these MLB teams go quick. So they are doing the right thing here. In my opinion, getting a guy like Jack Peterson, hopefully uh, he can kind of resurge again obviously had a tough 2020 and 138 plate appearances, but according to John Heyman, this is the deal. Um, I have not seen any other parts of the deal being announced yet, but very interesting. Uh, we'll go ahead and click at the press release for the Atlanta Braves. They give a little bit about what's going on with, uh, with these guys ball who is 23 years old. Currently he's hitting 207, as I had said in 53 games, single a Rome, um, so basically, Jock Peterson is going to be that stopgap guy for the Atlanta Braves. I like the deal once again for both sides. I think it makes sense for the Chicago Cubs. They're definitely thinking about selling. I'm really curious to see what they end up doing, but I think it makes sense for them to get a higher upside first base prospect. He's got a really good frame. Hopefully can you know be that first baseman of the future potentially for them. We'll have to kind of see what, what they ultimately decide to do. But nevertheless, he's a trade ship later on down the road if they want to try to recompete, if they decide not to tear it all down. Bryce Ball can be used to go ahead and, and get an MLB ready now guy at some point. So 
Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. Hit the subscribe button if you are new to our baseball content. Also, leave a like if you did enjoy our video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you guys in our next video.